will not disrespect God. You, you will not make a mockery of God mm -hmm. on his water or any mm -hmm. other place that God has come. God created everything. Mm -hmm. And laugh in God's face and expect to live. Mm -hmm. All of them perish. Because they have said in their heart, uh, they are the God. The only God there is the God that they worship. Um, and be careful um, who you allow to come and worship with you. Amen. Because everybody um, does not worship the same God. This is this is why um, some people uh, fought to have prayer removed out of the school uh, or to discontinue. Uh, praying in classes before the class begins or discontinue praying on the football field before the game begins um, because they felt that there are now other children in the environment in the classes who does not embrace Christianity and so for us to continue for our children to continue to pray to uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the midst of these foreign students is, um, is, a, is, is an infringement upon their belief and their faith. So I feel to command or demand that we not express our religious beliefs just because they are there is an infringement upon our belief Amen. and our freedom. Amen. observation input before we go further. Okay, the healthcare environment has been, has been and continues to be signaled by the elite agencies as the primary sector in which the mark will be introduced. Uh, from the early enchantments and cutting of roots taught by the falling uh, Sinjaza forward through time to the Pharmakia referenced in Revelation chapter 18, you can track this RX symbol and the tree that it represents. The RX symbol has another interpretation that provides an in interesting perspective. And let's read this part together. Our ex. 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 Acknowledges the symbol as an inducement to receive the form of Kia or the pharmaceutical product. Pastor Rice. Yes, ma'am. Um, this spin of the symbol mm -hmm. is like an entwined rod. Right. Right. Okay. You see a serpent on mm -hmm. uh, entwined on mm -hmm. the rod. Right. Okay, now this compares to the inducement inherent in the name uh, positive, a positive field or positive field. The Im implantable microchip family of companies recently renamed from Verichip. Anybody familiar with that name? So the positive field can be understood as equivalent to the word accept or acceptance positive, the mark idea of the beast. And one of the ways that those chips um, have, have been already introduced is in your bank card, on your, your credit card. Um, some of them um, have already gone to uh, lengths to introduce the chips in people's wrist or on their hands. They're experimenting with this now. Um, so that when you eventually go to a grocery store or any other store to buy, um, you'll have to be able to produce the chip 
before you be given uh, the right to purchase. That's in the near future. So these two inducements take down and accept the mark have already teamed up with the implantable microchip functioning as a RX delivery system and as a means of linking the chip person with their medical records, including their RX. Um, your social is you. Once it's in the system, uh, the government can find out anything it wants to know about you. Yes. The government can find you anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, of course, people go to great lengths to um, move to another country and have, have an ID change and all those kind of things. But even then, they can, the government can trace, if you have an identity change, the government can trace that current uh, number back to his original, uh, back to the, the person who had the number changed. Mm -hmm. Next paragraph, quote from the source where another author rejected uh, the reciprocal interpretation in favor of the RX symbol as a reference to Jupiter. Jupiter is what? And Alice for the beast. And the dragon who gives him his wow. power. There's, there's the P word again, comparing to Horus, Zeus, or Apollo. Rx is not, as is frequently supposed, an abbreviation of a Latin word meaning the recipe or com compound, but is an invocation to, <laughs> that means a prayer for his aid to make the treatment effective. In, in, in other words, instead of praying to Jehovah God, or Jehovah Rapha, which means God our healer, you pray to Jupiter, or Horus, or Theus, some other God. Um, the Greeks and some of the Jewish people uh, worshipped other gods. That's why God in the first commandment said, Thou should have no other God before me, because every Jew did not believe and worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even today, uh, there are many Jews who do not profess Christianity. Um, although the Jewish, the Jewish <coughs> people are God's chosen people, uh, many of them still do not believe or support Christianity, do not believe that Christ is Messiah. That's why the word said that, and he came into his own, and his own received him not about the Jewish race, they did not receive him. Therefore, salvation was extended uh, beyond the Jewish race also to the Gentile. That includes you and me. Um, <clears throat> sometimes in, in, the, in the old medical manuscripts, all the articles occurring in the text were crossed. And in parentheses, you see um, devils, drugs, and what? Okay. And this author is making a point based upon the observation that the R's were crossed even, or even in the old medical manuscripts. Observation input. Again, we are not denouncing or discrediting medical professionals because God gave us doctors. The Bible speaks of and makes reference to doctors. The writer of the Gospel of Luke and Acts, whose name was Luke, was a physician. But I said last week, medicine in those days were drawn from the natural resources and the natural vegetation that God originally created and gave to man uh, for, for to be used in man's diet. So um, these, these natural herbs uh, that God placed on the earth um, through prayer and faith had healing 
or medicinal uh, effects and advantages in them. And so your physician is not going to tell you on the record that certain herbs are, have medicinal um, advantages. One or two um, have told patients that they are not at liberty to share that information for two reasons. Number one, they're bound by the state board medical board. Secondly, actually three reasons. Secondly, it would damage the pharmaceutical markets. Thirdly, they themselves would, would be moved by. So it, uh, it becomes, it, it becomes a matter of, of option. You know, what do you choose to do? Uh, naturally, they've, they've got to eat too. But the fact remains that what you pay for medicine, even with the assistance of insurance, Medicaid, and Medicare, is not in any way, shape, form, or fashion what is necessary for a particular uh, prescription. Even with the money that you have spent in research, find a prescription to meet the need of a certain ailment or to control that, that ailment. Um, the pharmaceutical people are the ones who come out on the big end. Um, I think I told you about the people myself in the school a couple weeks ago who, who said
you would be already got the
that the Son of Man has power to forgive sin and swear on earth. On earth. So, brother Jesus, uh, as a matter of fact, when he was raised from the dead, and I close with this: all power is given unto me in both heaven and earth. So, whether Jesus is in heaven or on earth, he still has all power. All right. Um, tomorrow night we'll be at Fallon for church anniversary at 7:30. Man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, that's tomorrow night. <laughs> I um, thought it was next Thursday. It's tomorrow night. Right, I've seen right. the next Thursday. Right, next Thursday. And I think oh. next Wednesday is the second home for the church anniversary. I thought, think about this home. Okay. Understand that Sister Deborah Riley is in the hospital. Is she still there?